Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Vibrant Soltero and I'm super excited to have you here today. If you came across this reading or you felt called to this reading, then you may be entering a completely new chapter in your life. So we have these four piles to choose from. Each door represents what new chapter you are going to be stepping into. So pile number one, starting right here. Pile number two. Pile number three right here. And then last but not least, we have pile number four. So please take your time if you need to pause the video right here. If you need more time in choosing your pile, when you do have your pile selected, I will post the timestamps for each one in the description box below for your convenience. So you can just head on right over. And if you do feel called to multiple piles, then there may be multiple things happening for you in this new chapter. So you feel free to just choose whichever one your beautiful little soul desires. And I will see you guys at your pile. Bye. Hi, pile one. Thank you so much for joining me. If you chose this door, then this is your reading. So welcome. So I'm just going to briefly kind of go over this reading and what it's going to entail really fast. And then we are going to get started. So I have these cards representing different um, aspects of this chapter that you're going to be stepping into. Then we're going to be pulling the tarot to ask additional questions like what will you be leaving behind in order to step into this new chapter? Um, what blessings will you be receiving? What are you meant to be learning? And also some advice here here too. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards and what they represent. So this card is actually going to represent the current energy or like where you're currently at right now. So for that card, we have debilitated discomfort number 14. This card or these cards, because you got two of them are going to represent where you're going in this chapter. So the first card we have for you is We Are the Hathors, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth as a Portal. I don't know why I said it like that, portal. <laughs> and then the second card we have is Trust the Timing, Trust the Wave You Came In on Time is Not Running Out. Okay, and then this card we have for you is actually what you are going to... Um, or how, I'm so sorry, how you are going to be getting there. So we have, you know, where you're currently at, where you're headed, how you're going to be getting there. And the card we have for you is Mahavatar, actually Mahavatar Babaji. I'm, I'm so sorry if I completely butchered that. I tried my best, okay? And then we have Soul Expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Now, I have these um, animal cards as well to represent the energies that you are coming into this with, like this chapter with, and then this is going to represent the energy that you are coming out of it with. So the energy that you are kind of currently in or coming into it right now is the lizard, and the energy that you are coming out of it is the sea serpent. Wow, this is a very powerful energy, a powerful pile here that I definitely see. And I do feel like with this new chapter pile, when you're going to be going through some immense, deep, deep healings, the fact that we have the energy that you're in right now is in debilitated kind of is telling me that you may be out of your element in a certain situation or maybe just where you're at right now. And I do feel like with the other cards, what I'm seeing here, this could be like you being out of your element with surrounding with the people around you. Maybe they don't understand you or maybe you feel like you're kind of a, a I was going to say a fish out of water. I don't know if that's a a term but basically like I feel as though you may be because we have the lizard here you may be very intuitive a very spiritual kind of in-depth pile and so that could mean that maybe you're surrounded with people that aren't like you at all in a certain aspect and I think what you're kind of being asked here is to really embrace these different energies and to open your heart chakra and open your like your heart space and allow this acceptance for a lot of the other people around you whether that's um due to you know having to heal certain wounds for some of you this could be family for some of you this could have been a relationship or for some of you this could just be like your workplace or what or or just the the energies that you're being surrounded with right now because the lizard is known for being very intuitive and um and a very and very spiritual at least in if 
I remember correctly in the book, but also a problem that the lizard has is that it can feel debilitated or uncomfortable or not its best self when other energies like surrounding energies are constantly um, being absorbed and are constantly like attaching to the lizard because it has that kind of aura here. And so I think you're actually going through some sort of cleansing process here as well too. And I think this has a lot to do with some sort of creative process for you too. And, and being able to express yourself creatively and express yourself as you truly want to around the people that you may feel would never accept you before or or aren't able to understand you it's like you coming into this true understanding of yourself and and i feel like the fact that we have this um soul expansion card as in like how you're going to be getting there i do feel like this is something that's kind of going to happen more naturally for you because this is all about the fact that it says you understand the connection between all things is is meaning to me that you are so aware and intuitive that you're understanding why these people have been brought into your life or why you are being pressured and pushed to pursue this when you know it's completely out of your comfort zone it's like you're you know that there's a bigger reason and a bigger understanding even if you can't see it right now and that is all about the lizard personality is is having some sort of sixth sense and really, really trusting it. And I know that can be very hard at times to trust, especially when our circumstances don't look good, it's especially when our circumstances are telling us that uh, we're used to doing something else or used to being a certain way or, or you know, and we're really getting pushed and, and our, our sixth sense, our intuition, it's not making sense at the time, but it's pushing us towards something completely new. Uh, you know, that can be very challenging, even for the most intuitive person you know or the most in you know spiritually evolved whatever you want to call it like type of person you know there's there's always that kind of well questioning of like is this where I'm supposed to be it doesn't feel like I'm supposed to be here right now it feels like I should be you know where where I normally was or it feels like I should be somewhere else or it feels like for some of you I'm even hearing it feels like I should have moved back over here you know what i'm saying but i do feel like because we have the trust where trust where you're led card here as well too that this is going to make so much more sense to you when you're uh, leaving this new chapter of your life and i love that we have this um deep love mother's milk birth as a portal representing where you're headed i mean birth as a portal is literally you're you're headed to a rebirth a new a new life, whether that's like physical or uh, spiritual. I feel like a lot of you, this is spiritual. Like you are evolving so much and so fast. And then, and then I think it's taking some time for your physical to catch up to that as well. And that's kind of normal too. And that's why I think this is telling you that, you know, again, the time is not running out, that you do have time. And the and also this um We Are the Hathers card does talk about kind of just resting in the energy that you're in right now, allowing, you know, the love of the universe and, and everything and, you know, deep this deep, deep heart chakra opening and this deep love to kind of just cradle you and comfort you when you need it and that's something that I feel is so beautiful uh, it's something that I I feel I've been through personally many times it's almost as if I don't want to compare it to but it's almost as if you're kind of in that void or the void to where you have all this potential around you but you don't know where you're going, what it's going to be. And all you can really rely on is your faith. And all you can really rely on right now is the love that spirit is um, very willing and openly wanting to to give to you. Just as long as you acknowledge that it's there and, and as long as you acknowledge that um, you're able to receive it, you will receive it instantly. Um but yeah, but you're going to be coming out the other end because it, the fact that I just keep getting drawn to the birth as a portal, it's almost as if, you know, the, that's what happens when we're born here. You know, we come through our mother's portal, <laughs> you know, and um, and we get to start fresh. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is a new a new beginning for you to where you get to shed the old um, like what's the word I'm looking for? 
you get to shed the old versions of you and you get to shed the old stories that were being told about you. And I think a lot of these come from yourself because I know for a fact the Sea Serpent card talks a lot about releasing self-judgment. And it is the card for the second chakra, so the sacral chakra. So this is really a card of allowing yourself to express yourself the way that you want to not feeling shame for your desires for your wants and your needs whether other people have shamed you before in the past that's something that is definitely going to be healed for you during this um next chapter and i love that it's and like how I said, like the not self-judgment, because I feel for some of you, you are in a situation right now where you're feeling maybe outcasted or you're feeling like a little different than whatever I was saying before. I'm trying to like remember what I was saying before. But yeah, basically, it's like you feel as though you may be a little bit out of your element right here. Maybe some of you are even feeling like you don't belong right now where you're at. And that's simply not true. This is all about you adapting and learning. And um, sometimes that means we kind of have to take the uh, co-pilot seat. We kind of have to sit. Um, I don't want to say like not be a leader in your life, but we kind of have to let other people do what they want to do and you kind of sit back and just you know accept I feel like there's a big need for acceptance for some reason of the situations of your current situations and that is it does in turn play a huge huge part in um a, a huge part in like what you're going to do next because sometimes the first step is always like accepting where you're at because you can't do anything about it right now and that gives you so much power and so much like ease. Like it's almost as if like you're, you, it's like you're able to take like a sigh, like a, a relief or a breath and, and just allow things to be what they are, to do what they do and not have to worry about controlling anyone else's perception of you or not having to worry about controlling how other people, I guess, perceive you, which is just exactly what I said. And, and kind of working with these people as well. I feel like there's some collaboratory energy that is needed here in order to make some sort of um, peace in in your life. But um, I want to... I wanted to continue talking about this, but I for completely forgot what I was going to say. I hate that I always do that. Um, with the sea serpent energy, yeah, this is about you. Yeah, okay, so oh, I got it now. <laughs> this is about you again. Like I said before, I'm just going to briefly go over it again about you expressing yourself with non judgment. Now, I think there's some big realizations that are coming to this pile about judgments that they have on themselves. And I think one of those biggest realizations for you um, is that you're going to find yourself being having so much more freedom when you release these judgments. And you're going to find yourself having so much more self love when you realize that the only person here to judge you is yourself, especially if you're stepping into a situation or, or an energy where you're kind of, um, like getting like rejuvenated like maybe there's not a lot happening for you at this time and you kind of feel like you should be doing something more you need to be doing something like physical or you have these creative ideas that you want to be putting and that's all about the lizard too the lizard is able to see creative ideas and creative aspects and and their life before it even manifest and so this may be where this restlessness is coming but i do want to promise you that this shedding period for you because i believe lizards actually shed their skin as well too you can correct me if i'm wrong but that but we do have like a sea serpent which is kind of like a snake anyways i'm getting stuff and like the skin here i'm getting i'm getting like a lot about like shedding i don't know if lizards actually shed i'm, I'm not um an expert in that but but I do feel like this is a, a vital period for you. So if you are uncomfortable with not having a lot of movement or you are uncomfortable with kind of being stuck in, or feeling stuck in some certain situation, this is, again, a big aspect of your growth and your um, advancement. And I just feel like on the other side of this chapter, there's going to be so much freedom for you. Like you're going to be evolving. And I do feel like you're going to be picking up like with your manifestations as well. 
And then, like I said before, I keep getting the message that you're going to be realizing maybe the only one holding you back was yourself. Because if you are kind of in this energy where, you know, there's there's not too many people around you and stuff, but you're still letting these judgments get to you or these judgments hold you back these of this self or like, what if, what if they think I'm crazy? What if they think I'm weird? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's honestly just an inner call here for a need of self-acceptance. Because if you fully accepted yourself, then you wouldn't really worry about what other people had to say about you. And also, like I said, it's, it's quite funny. And it's something that I realized too, that it's just mind blowing to me that I was holding myself back for a long time for expressing myself too, you know, the way that I wanted to and to do the things that I wanted to. And I realized that, and it was almost as I needed to forgive myself as well too, because I realized that the person holding myself back for so long that I was blaming on other people or what other people would say or, or anything like that, they were all coming from me. <laughs> like the phone call was coming from inside the house I was the only one that was judging myself I was the only one saying that and and I, it's like it's almost as if there's this what we do is we're like oh well if I were to show how I feel about this topic then we like our brain kind of says like or if, or if I were to express myself in this way they, they're gonna say that I'm this or they're gonna say that I'm this and it's no one's really gonna say that and if they do that who cares but like it's it's honestly because like do we think that we're like this do we think that and you'd be surprised that there's so much truth into that like if they say like if you if you express your spiritual beliefs to somebody that you you know is interested or like is asking about it I guess you know and and you're like I, I don't want to do that because you're gonna think I'm crazy it's like do you think you're crazy because I think that's where the judgment's coming from and I'm only saying this because this is something that I've learned as well too and it's like it's it's once you realize it though it I almost at least me personally I had like anger I was like oh my gosh I cannot believe this has been me the whole time but I think this is I think that is like some sort of important aspect um I didn't mean to like completely go on this rant about but it's like some sp like aspect of what's going on um we just started mercury retrograde okay pile one so please forgive me and I haven't done a, I actually haven't done a reading in a couple weeks so due to other other things so i'm kind of getting back in the niche so so sorry if this is like not making that much sense to you or if this is um kind of all over the place i feel like i've been doing okay but anyways let's go ahead and get into the tarot to see a little bit more so i think one of the biggest things here for you about this new chapter is really self-acceptance and being able to express yourself the way that you feel like you want to express yourself and, and having that freedom to express yourself and to, and to do anything that you feel like you want to do here. Okay, so the first question we have is, what will you be leaving behind or letting go? So we have the higher font. I think one of the things you're going to be leaving behind and letting go of here is like other people's expectations of you, other people's, other people's rules. And with, you know, the Hierophant really being here, this really talks about like traditions and what you're, what you feel like you're meant to be doing and allowing yourself to do whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you feel you've been called to do. You know, this is really, really, uh, important to what you need to be left behind like traditional ways of thinking traditional things of doing the higher font can also represent unlearning too so unlearn as much as it is learning it's unlearning like unlearning but like limiting beliefs unlearning that you know the world used works this way <laughs> unlearning you know certain things that i feel and it's so um it's so uh connected here i guess to you know, this soul expansion card, you know, really expanding your mind and expanding your soul to realize that we are not limited in any type of way. We just all we're limited in a way as as our soul, you know, is is not limited at all. You know, we are limited being a human and having this human experience. Don't get me wrong, like we are we have a, a limited perception of things. And we also have a limited, uh, you know, we're, we're physical beings, we can't just like manifest something into the reality, like right now, you know, we kind of do have to like, it's like, we have to work a lot harder than a lot than most, actually, all of like spirit has to manifest anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> but my point is, you know, it still can happen. You still can do it, even though maybe you used to think that you could never or I'm hearing that some of you used to think that you would never even be in a position that you are now and not like it's a bad position but like maybe the you uh you know in the past was a certain type of believer a certain type of thinker when it comes to certain things and then that kind of already shows within itself how much you've already expanded your mind and how much you've already learned and how much you've already awakened and stuff and I just feel like this is the like the the shedding the rest of the shedding that you need to fully embrace your true true self here which is going to be very beautiful for you okay so now let's go ahead and ask what blessings you will be receiving So what blessings will my pile one be receiving in this chapter we have the page of pentacles which is the growth card but also this is advancing as well too i love that they're they're reading a book here and it's like they have this like knowledge like this knowledge is like gold in this image and i do feel like the the blessing that you're going to be receiving here is that the knowledge that you're learning or even unlearning is going to be with you in something and a tool that you're going to be using for the rest of your life. This is something that is, like I said before, this is something that is very vital to your evolution process. And it's worth so much more than I feel anything physical. And I think that may be something that you're going through now too. Like if some of you were like, oh, I was hoping the blessings would be like I was successful and I had a bunch of money and, and all of this other stuff too. This does not mean that that's not coming. But first, before you get there, you kind of do have to learn a lot of, uh, you know, spiritual lessons. Sometimes we, we even need to be humbled and things like that for a while too. Just so when we do get those physical things, you know, we have... Oh, we ha we have our like truth and we have our true beliefs and what tr we truly value you know already too because that stuff isn't gonna make you happy even though you know we do believe that it would make us happier or anything like that which it might for a moment that's the thing is that's where it gets kind of tricky with the physical things and the physical aspects of like wealth and and comfort and things like that they do make us happy for a moment or maybe in certain moments in certain in in certain instances but it doesn't last long if you're not truly like happy with yourself it really does not last long at all it only goes so far until you feel like you need to fill this void again too but being happy with yourself and true to who you are and you know that is the happiness that no one can take from you and that is a happiness and, and a feeling of freedom that you can take anywhere whether you have the things that you want or you don't have the things that you want or you're building the things that you want you know what i'm saying and i so this is something that's so much more important and i feel a lot a lot of love coming for uh, this pile i feel a lot of love coming coming from my heart chakra for this pile so i do feel like this is all about you embracing spirit love and and embrace and kind of just like and that makes sense, honestly, why this is such a, a phase for you to be accepting of yourself and, and accepting of, of like your passions and, and what it is that you want. And, and you know, self-love is all that stuff. All that stuff kind of is under the umbrella of what I'm kind of focusing on here, because when you're able to accept yourself, you're definitely able to accept others. Again, it's one of those perception things where we judge other people, but th it's usually something within us. It's actually always something within us, even if it doesn't seem like it, it is, um, that we're either jealous of or that we don't accept within ourselves. So if someone is like, posting themselves sit in like a bikini or something and and they're not in the best shape and you're like oh oh my god I can't believe that person would do that you, what you're really doing is judging yourself because you're saying that if you looked like that or you would never have the confidence to do that you would never do that because you'd be scared of what other people would say you know what I'm saying and so in turn that kind of it's this little kind of goes back it flips back onto us like when we do something like that if, the, if this is making sense you know it's like or if you know or or some of you could be jealous of like how they even have the confidence to do that because they feel like they couldn't do that but instead we're kind of just taking the blame off of ourselves and we're projecting it onto other people and if for and it gives us some sort of like self-righteous 
high at times as well too and i i experience that all the time um in my life other people i feel like i'm if i can be honest okay i'm sorry if this is taking too long and i'm sharing too much but i do feel like i have like i've been through this before or at least uh many times before and i feel like like i just feel like i can say so many personal things like for instance i have neptune in my first house this means that people my whole entire life have only seen me a lot of the time for what they wanted to see because that is the planet of illusions and so that being in my first house it's like it's it's like whatever they projected onto me is what they believed like i felt i felt i was misunderstood a lot of my life and i was unknown a lot of my life it even happens here too when i when i post videos and stuff like people will post comments acting like they they know me or like they'll correct me and they get like some sort of like self righteous like oh well you, that's not what you, that means and blah 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 or like i even had like one time i try not to listen to the negative comments i really don't or i try to delete them right away because i don't need negativity stinking up my comment section you know um but <laughs> but anyways um someone was like oh the the person that has this i think it was like my nails or like my voice it was like they judged me by my nails my voice and something else and they were like D I, I, basically they were like you're a joke to a tarot reading and you don't know what you're talking about and i was like that is just has, don't worry that's happened to me my whole life like first of all you're wrong second of all you're you're obviously your inner wounds and your projection is showing and third of all you don't know me at all and you don't even you would never know me from a, a 30 minute video and and so what i'm saying is maybe i'm expressing this because this is something that you've been going through as well too and i feel like that so it's just it happens and it's not personal it took me a really long time to realize that. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes I still kind of slip up and I'll, I'll let certain things like affect me. But I always rise above it. I always come back to my true self because I know who I truly am. And I know what I'm capable of. And I know what I do and why I do it. And no one else can tell me what I do and why I do what I do. Because they don't know. It's kind of another thing as, as well as like you don't, you can't judge somebody until you walk in their shoes. And so I just want to say my heart goes out to this pile because I do feel like this is a pile that has been judged or this is a pile that has been perceived. And I know how hard it is to not take those things seriously, especially in your younger days, especially when you don't know what's going on and people are telling you that you're doing this or, or this is, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. And that's why it's very important to establish a strong sense of self. And that's why it's very important to remember that no one else decides or has the power to decide who you are that's for you to decide and you have the power to wake up every single day and decide something different if that's what you want to do you don't have to have the same narrative that you've always had your entire life you can change it today you can change it right now you can literally just say like that past is irrelevant and i and i don't uh associate with that anymore i don't resonate with that anymore and i um, I want to be this person now. And that's the beauty of like evolving. That's the beauty of just being whoever you want to be. And like I said, emphasis on it's for you to decide. So yeah, I really hope you guys needed to hear something like that because that got deep. I'm getting like, I'm getting little goosey bumps, but yeah. Um, and that's why I feel like I can relate to this pile. I feel like that's kind of it, it's something energy of what you're going through right now. And, um, it can be overcome like it honestly all of those things that i've been through like are and any and i think most people that are even here today have been through it only has made them stronger and more aware of of these things like now i can catch it like that instead of like having to think about like myself or anything like that like now i'm just like mm, get out of here scram <laughs> okay i'm so sorry to be blabbering on we're almost done here guys okay so um I think we kind of went over this question a lot, but let's go ahead and get any more information about what you are meant to be learning in this chapter. Pull it? Okay. Uh, we have the Page of Swords. So this is the card for learning. And this is just learning about, um, I feel like your thoughts and your behaviors and your patterns as well, since it is Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. So you are going, this is aligning you. You are on this. This is your path. This is what you're meant to be doing. Um, if, if this is like a creative project for some of you too that you want to do or, or something that you want to look into, 
then I do feel like this is this is a sign as well saying that yes, like you are being guided to do this. Um it's, it's like the page of swords is like that's the card of learning for me. It's like what are you meant to be learning? Just learning, learning about yourself, learning about um other people, <laughs> learning about a lot of things that um I think this is all about inner learning and inner study as well, too. This is about learning about um, maybe what's been holding you back, what you have felt restricted for. Again, like those judgments and things like that, that we were talking about um, before. All of this, I feel, is just going to... And I feel like this is a pile where you are very self-aware for the most part. And you, this is going to just come to you effortlessly. Uh, actually, I'm getting told to maybe I shouldn't say effortlessly because that does kind of diminish uh, some of the effort that we all put into our, into ourselves. It's not effortlessly. Nothing ever really comes that much effortlessly, especially things that are important and things that really matter. But it's going to, these changes are going to come naturally. Like you're going to be given the tools and you're going to be given the obstacles to overcome things like that. That you're you're going to like it seems maybe for maybe to the other like the outer world it may seem like when you're going through these changes that it is coming like naturally or effortlessly and inside you're like um no I actually put in a lot of work and I learned a lot of, a lot about this so but um because you just got it like that by one and you're able to just make things look easy I feel <laughs> okay now last but not least let's just pull some quick advice thank you if you stayed till the end um love you guys I love when people stay till the end because I'm like, because sometimes I think and it's again, it's a, it's a self judgment. I think, and I'm like, who is going to listen to me talk for this long? But I'm surprised that there actually are people listening to me talk for this long. So I love you so much for that. You're amazing. Okay. Um, focus. I always get a little off focus towards the end too. Okay. So what is some advice here for my pile one during this next chapter of their life, please? What's some advice here? We have the Ten of Pentacles. I celebrate everything I achieve. I love that. I'm burping. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, every, every step and every victory, no matter how significant or insignificant it seems, is building this firm foundation for you. It's building this future for you. You're making the decisions that your future self is going to thank you for later. And I think that's really beautiful. And and I think that that spirit wants you to literally celebrate everything that you've achieved this point on as well too. Um, sometimes we get stuck in this wheel of like, we need to learn more, we need to do more, we need to go through more and, and as well. And we forget to stop and 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 really celebrate ourselves and bask in, in our achievements as of right now. Like we've gotten ourselves this far, like we must be pretty resilient, right? You know, and I think this is, a, a, again, a this is, like I said, this is building something beautiful for you. And also it, you need to celebrate yourself now as well. Because the old you would not be able to do this. And how did how did the you now learn to do this by the things that you went through and what you're learning and, and what you're going through? And I think and by the time you're at the end of this next chapter, you're going to really be seeing that um, that you're a badass and that you can really freaking overcome anything. Okay, the bottom one we have, the six of cups. I remember and treasure the past happiness. I do feel like this is coming as well to not let the past define you, kind of like what we were talking about before. And also, again, you know, the past doesn't have to be. And then I think this is realizations uh, that may be coming for some of you soon as well, too. But the past doesn't have to be icky. <laughs> I don't know why I said that word. But when you look back at the past and the past versions of yourself or other people, whatever the case is, it doesn't have to be bad. Like this kid, you know. With this expansion comes an understanding that things happen for a reason and that even love shows up in our lives as, as what we would perceive it to be the exact opposite. So what we perceive as like someone coming in to like ruin us or to ruin our lives on a higher level could have been the, uh, uh, an act of love as in like you learned so much from it that it got you, you know, where you needed to be. You had to learn and and grow you know what I'm saying and I think I might be like reaching a bit but I don't want to like 
piss anyone off or make anyone think that like oh this person you know what what they did to me like that was not love and you're right maybe it wasn't out of love from them but it made you learn self-love it made you learn boundaries which is a form of self-love you know what i'm saying this is just an example here but like there was something love came out of it and i think this is like again and this could be like inner child healing as well with the six of cups also this is like just being kind to yourself about your past and that's what i'm really getting here especially now that i'm being drawn to again this mother's milk um and this you know birth of a portal energy being nourishing and kind to your your past self or because those thoughts are affecting you now and forgiving yourself and just like kind of babying yourself if you felt like you know you don't have anyone to care for you this is the perfect opportunity to really care for yourself like that mother that maybe you've always wanted or give yourself that approval like that father you've always wanted or give yourself the understanding like those friends that you've always wanted you know you can do that for yourself and i think that's what is needed here okay so uh let's do one more we have the seven of pentacles oh i love this i trust my ideas and my directions yeah so really again trusting where you're led even if it doesn't make sense seven of pentacles is always like looking at something and like hmm, i don't know if this is going to be what i want it to be um just trust and and continue on and see you know uh, you you never know until you see and you never know until you try but i'm definitely running out of time here so sorry to cut this ending a little bit short but thank you so much if you stayed till the end pile one i love you don't forget that you got this that you're badass and i will see you also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and i will see you beautiful souls again bye hi pile two welcome to your reading if you chose this door or entrance to this new chapter then these messages are for you so i'm gonna go ahead and just try to quickly explain what all this is and then um, explain a little bit what we're going to be doing after so these oracle cards are representing different things um, about this new chapter. So this one is going to represent where you're currently at right now. This one is going to represent where you are headed. And this one is going to represent how you are going to get there. Then we have these two animal cards, which this one is going to represent um, the energy that you're coming into this new chapter with. And then this one is going to represent the energy that you're um, kind of going to be like leaving this chapter with or what you're kind of going to be gaining from this new chapter here. So and then we're going to be actually using the tarot deck after this to answer some more questions like what you're going to be leaving behind in order to step into this new chapter. Um, what blessings will you be receiving in this new chapter? And then um, some more information about what you're meant to be learning as well as some advice. So that was definitely a mouthful. Let's go ahead and um, see what we got here. So where you are currently at right now, the card we have for you is the third house with communication number 41. Then we have where you are going or where you're headed. We have jump in with Andromedan energy. Say yes to change. Oh, an adventure. I didn't even read that part. The adventure. Okay. And then for how you are going to be getting there, we have Mother Mary with love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Okay, and then so the animal card that represents the energy that you have coming into this new chapter is the tarantula. In the energy that you're going to be coming out of this chapter, we have the camel. All right, pile two. Let's go ahead and start over here with the energy um, that you've been kind of I feel I want to say you've been feeling this for at least a little while I do feel like you've been feeling a, a tug or a pull in a new direction maybe that's a different way of communicating things um and and I feel like with the communication the third house does represent learning and your um area around you so the third house would be like you know the school you went to or the neighborhood that you grew up in and things like that and so I do feel like this is you almost maybe being pulled out of this like you feel drawn to something bigger something better and maybe you know that you deserve something bigger and something better than kind of your the energy that you've been around lately or in the recent past 
And the tarantula can also represent dharma and your fate and making choices that you're being pulled towards to um, follow that dharma. So that would be like your life's path or your life's purpose or certain things like that um, of that nature. Now, I do feel like there is a challenge with communication here that you've been kind of facing with the people around you. Maybe it's you feel as though you have not been understood or maybe it's you feel as though you kind of at times you kind of are under attack by the people around you. This could be your family. This could be just people not understanding you or this could definitely be like maybe a, a situation or love connection, whatever the case is. Um, this is a general reading so just wherever it resonates there's definitely been um and i do feel like you've been feeling a, a need to want to communicate differently but maybe you almost as if you get feel like you keep getting pulled back to your old self or like you've you've been you've been advancing and you've been evolving and it's like you know that you don't want to let other people get you um riled up or kind of get you out of character because you know that that is a waste of energy and you know that your energy is very valuable and it needs to be protected at all costs but for some reason there there seems to be certain uh people in your life or maybe there were certain people in your life that just push your buttons to say the least been the reason why i say this is because the camel energy that you're going to be leaving this um new chapter with is about learning uh, not to react to certain things. And then we have, you know, how you're going to get there, the Mother Mary, love and peace, not needing to be right, maybe not needing to prove your point. If if someone isn't listening, if you feel like you have to prove something to somebody so they can understand you and it's then maybe this is just a sign that this person isn't meant to understand you. I do feel like there's also a need with this change here as well to kind of change not only your surroundings, but change who you surround yourself with. If you're letting people around you that are questioning your character or getting you out of character or bringing you back to maybe an, an old unhealed version of yourself that you know that you've overcome or you know that you're better than or have advanced, you know, then this is again, this is about making those choices and the strategic decisions just uh, all in all to protect your peace. I do feel like what this next chapter is going to be bringing you is 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 a lot of peace and also the the desire and the knowledge to really protect it and to know that there's nothing more important than um than like I guess your peace I was gonna say something else but I kind of lost that sorry uh yeah there's nothing more important than your peace and I think this has a lot to do with your environment too um, for some of you, I'm drawn to the fact that it is Mother Mary and it is it does talk about mother healing being possible at times. This could be mother wounds that you're going to be f like facing and healing as well. This could be like, you know, maybe not getting heard the way that you wanted to or not feeling, you know, as loved as you as you deserved it doesn't have to be a specific mother wound for uh, for other of you but it could just be like you kind of learning to mother yourself and protect yourself and for some of you that could actually you know result in being the mother that you wish that you had or may maybe being the mother that you never had or whatever the case is here it's almost as if I'm feeling like you're going to be very protective over your energy and over your safe space and you're not gonna just allow anyone and anything to disrupt that and that may include for some of you making really hard decisions and letting certain people go and letting certain uh, situations kind of die out or friendships fade whatever the case is um, here in order for you to realize because the camel does also talk about being very self-sufficient so I think this is going to be an empowering chapter for you as well pile two where you're realizing that you don't need anybody else you don't need anybody else to agree with you you don't need anyone else to to feel you, to hear you, um, the way that you, you know, you know, you are heard. And I think that comes with some sort of self-acceptance here. I think that comes with you, you know, accepting that your, your needs are worthy. Your voice is, is powerful and important. And with those realizations and those beliefs within yourself, if people around you or, or even just instances, like even just like random things around you, cause I don't want to say just people like this could just qualify for anything or like anywhere that you're at right now in your life but um you know if they're not 
realizing like how you realize that you know that it's that you're worthy and like that you have a, a beautiful point to to say and if they're not willing to hear it or willing to hear your side whether that's you know the way that they affected you too like if people affected you in a way that hurt you and they don't care and they only see the fact that you maybe triggered them or whatever the case is this is this is the examples that I'm talking about of the people that are probably going to be leaving your life because I do feel like there, the, there's a lot of energy, especially with this jump in here, with this pile that um, there is going to be a lot of letting go, but it's also an energy here that, um, what am I trying to say, Spirit? It's like that the old ways that you used to do things or communicate don't really resonate with you right now or, or aren't going to resonate with you anymore. And I think that there's people in your past or situations in your past that bring that only remember you for how you used to be. And you're realizing that you have the power to change that and that that old narrative doesn't describe you or that old narrative it isn't you're not stuck in that old narrative is what I'm trying to say that you're able to recreate who you are and and you're you're able to learn from your mistakes and you're able to grow and evolve and if these people around you aren't growing and evolving with you then they have to then they have to go or if they keep only bringing they try to bring you back down to somebody that you used to be when you know that you've overcome certain things you know then that's because that's a sign that again, they're not evolving as well too. And, and I, I just heard that phrase or that, um, I don't know what you call it, like that quote, that's like, people only try to bring you down, because they're already beneath you. And I think that's something that you're going to be realizing a lot as well, too, that you may have underestimated yourself and I think the people around you have seen your true potential and your true value and I think that has triggered a lot of people around you that really it like it's triggered their insecurities so that they try to bring you down and they wanted to make you believe or they wanted to make you see that you were worth less or, or less worthy than how they actually perceived you that's a very manipulative energy that i'm picking up on and it's a very immature and it's a very unhealed petty energy and i think this is all those things that need to be removed from your life that you're going to be removing as well too and like i said i think this is this is already changes that you've already started these are things that you've already felt like the tarantula doesn't just come uh, come into your life out of nowhere the tarantula has kind of been there um waiting and and I think it does talk about actually waiting ever so patiently for you to make these decisions and to make these choices so if it takes you longer to or maybe longer than you thought or whatever or it took some other realizations or whatever the case is everyone's different and it takes different times to not judge yourself on that journey as well too but um yeah I love this end result here of like you being self-sufficient in your peace and I love that it's like you are also taking accountability for your reactions and how you react to other people as well, too. It is it's not always just about um, removing the people at times as well, too. Sometimes we can't remove the people. So I think for some of you as well, one of the biggest lessons is maybe like accepting that people are just the way that they are and just choosing not to participate in their antics, <laughs> if this is making sense. Like, and I love how that it's kind of like, the letting go of the need to be right it's like you could see someone and you could watch what they're doing and know that what they're doing is is wrong or know what they're doing is like it, you just know that you just know better but still you know where that road leads if you were to try to like convince them otherwise and so this is again about saving your saving your energy and your peace and just accepting it and just knowing that um if they did knew better knew better or they would do better or like if they wanted better they would do better. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it's like for, that's just the energy that I keep getting here is like choosing to not even participate in other people's like little antics. Cause you're better than that. You're so much better than that. And I feel like you've been around a lot of people that have seen that you're better than that, or have seen like your true worth and your true potential. And like I said before, and tried to bring you down and that's, um, 
a phase that is going to be leaving in uh, your life. I feel like there's some endings here, whether that's just an energetic ending for like the old you. And then, and I mean, it's very fitting to a new chapter, you know, <laughs> um, you know, an ending and then a new beginning. But I do feel like this is like you may have been closing the chapters on the, on your old self or closing chapters on who you used to be. And now it's time to get away from, from certain environments and certain things. Okay. And now I feel like I'm just repeating myself. You know what that means? That means it's time to answer some questions. So, um, now let's ask with the tarot deck spirit, what is, Oh, well, this is actually a really good question because now we can, or at least I can get some clarity on what it is exactly you're going to be leaving behind. So spirit, what is my pile two going to be leaving behind or letting go of? We have the page of swords. This is a card for communication as well, too. Dang, there's just an energy here, pile two, of like learning to communicate in a way that's not hurtful. Learning to communicate in a way that it, it doesn't, you're not acting out of, out of your own pain. Learning to communicate in a way that isn't belittling to other people. And don't get me wrong, that doesn't make you a bad person if you ever communicated in that type of way or that doesn't make anything. All it shows is that maybe that's how you were, you were brought up to communicate or maybe that's how people have communicated towards you. They've always like, it's, it's like learning how to express your needs and express your problems without making it a problem like or without blaming the other person you know what I'm saying and I think that's why with this camel too I was getting a lot of um um accountability for what you say accountability for your own actions and things like that even though even though I was definitely feeling and getting the energy that a lot of the people around you are may have been undeveloped and immature but that does not mean that you have to stoop down to their level as well this is about rising above and being that example for your community being that example for the people around you and just being being better because I feel like this is something that your soul and your, your heart has been guiding you to be because you, if you haven't been satisfied maybe in in how things were going or the way things were I guess I don't know the word what the word I'm trying to say but basically like you if you haven't been satisfied and I think this could be like generational things as well too like maybe the way that your family has done things this is a good this is a a good example of you know breaking those generational curses or those generational patterns of like talking to your children this is just an example by the way talking to your children nicely not scolding your children or like happy you know be more understanding or even like friends you know this could be like something with friends as well too because I know a lot of the times like especially on the internet one of the biggest things that like people say is like if if someone mentions something and the other person doesn't know what that something is so like if they bring up like a, a movie or a topic or something and then the other person's like what's that like people like jump down their throat and they're like what do you mean you don't know what that is like you don't you, I can't believe you don't know that or they like shame them for not knowing that like something even if it's like educational and it's like that's how knowing works though. Like why do you have to shame somebody for not knowing something? You just teach them something and that's how now they know. Like it's you can't just pull information, you know, out of your butt if you don't know what it is. And I think this is kind of a, an example of that, but to a certain degree, you know what I'm saying? It's like being kind of understanding like maybe people around you just don't know. Maybe that's just how they communicate. And also maybe that's how you were taught to communicate. And so if you feel drawn to being like like a nicer or or if you I do feel like maybe because the third house does deal with like communities maybe this is a time for you to be very impactful like in your community like maybe you want to do something that um is going to require you to be heard by multiple people or whatever the case is you know this is the time that you're working on that communication to where you're coming from a place of love and you're coming from a place of understanding and you're not coming from a place of judgment and things like that even when people are stupid <laughs> okay um let's see now 
I kind of want to do one more. I want to go by, I'm this kind of, I'm, I always kind of make these a little bit longer, but I kind of want to do one more uh, thing of like what you'll be leaving behind and then we'll go a little bit faster on the, the other one. So, okay, so can you tell me something else, Spirit, about what my pile two will be leaving behind? I just, for whatever reason, I feel really like I need to do that. So, ooh, we have the hermit. Okay, so if you've kind of, interesting actually i kind of want to clarify this because i just got like so many different things okay so let's clarify this clarify this hermit please on what my pile two i want to keep saying pile three so i don't know if you felt called a pile three i haven't even done pile three yet so i don't know what's in there for you but for some reason i want to keep saying pile three okay so we have the two of swords so again right on top of the tarantula which does represent some sort of decisions as well too This is again about you not sacrificing yourself or your wants and your needs for other people. Um, this is about choosing your own way, choosing your own path. So what you're going to be leaving behind, I feel like, is 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 that herd mentality or like not even a herd mentality because I definitely feel like this pile does not have a herd mentality. It would just be like going with things because it's easier doing things you know the way that you're used to because that's just all you've known and that's easier you're definitely going down your own path and you're making different decisions um based off things that you've learned and what it is and I think that's so awesome like I think that is I'm always one for going against the grain you know I think you can ask like any tarot reader that because usually that kind of does signify that they're kind of Actually, no, I shouldn't judge all tarot readers. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I'm just speaking for myself. I can't speak for other people. But I love things that are different, you know, or like woo-woo or like uh, challenging to break out of the mold, especially when the mold is keeping people in cycles of pain, in cycles of like anger and things like that. I think this is like definitely has a lot to do with breaking those types of cycles and really just becoming that person that you know you truly are on the inside. And that's in, in turn is going to be so fulfilling for you. So fulfilling for you instead of being who you feel like you should be. But you know, that's just like living a life of someone else, you know, that's like doing what other people think you should do or living a life that other people think you should live is like, is is the equivalent to like them handing you a treasure map and you have to hunt for a treasure that you don't even want, you know, living your own life is so much more fulfilling in your own way than you can ever, ever imagine. And that does represent, like, that does create, like, a dharma, dar or I guess I was going to say a dharma effect, or, like, a destiny effect as well, too, is when we live our own lives and we don't, and it, it's so much more fulfilling and it feels like it's our destiny, you know, regardless of whether it is or not or whatever you believe, it feels that way. Okay, I told you I was going to hurry up and I, here I am. Okay, so what blessings will my pile two be receiving? We have the four of wands, wow like a, a a union here I, it doesn't have to be i don't think this is love i mean for it could be for sure love so if that's what you feel like it is then sure it is but this is a, a union of self coming together like back to yourself and and also i feel like this is about because there's so many wands here and there's like other people and it's like coming like you are going to find your community you are going to find your people you're going to find the people that understand you and the people that communicate the way that you want them to and I think that's so beautiful and it actually makes me almost want to cry because I feel like this is something your heart has been longing for to find your types of people to find your community this could also mean like you're coming out of a, a hermit mode that is what I heard when it first came out but I wanted to get a little bit deeper into that as well too but definitely definitely if you have been in a hermit mode you I I feel like you're going to be finding your your people and this makes perfect sense because with you shedding that old and with you like how we were just talking about becoming like your most authentic self you're going down you know this hermit your own path your true self that is how you find your true people. That's how you find your tribe is by showing up as your authentic self. If you want to find more people that are understanding and loving, you show up as a more loving and understanding person because birds of a feather flock together rather as if you want to be around people that um, 
like it, I guess there's nothing wrong with this, but like, if you want to be around people that party all the time and, and stuff like that, because that's what you want to do and that's what you choose to do, hey, more power to you. But that's birds of a feather flock together. Like you'll find those types of people. And I and I and so again, this is something that I feel is so beautiful for you. It makes me want to shed a tear. Okay. Um, what is this? Oh, we have a six of cups as well, too. <laughs> Sorry, the way it flew out. I almost, what is this, spirit? <laughs> what are you giving me? Um, yeah, this is oh, this is I feel like this could be an indication of a soulmate connection as well, too. This is so much inner child healing though. Like this image is so perfect for that. It's like look at looking at herself as a child and just understanding why she did the things that she did and and knowing that you know it's not and i'm saying her because it's a girl in the picture but you know obviously you would do this for yourself but you know knowing that it's it wasn't her fault there's a lot of beautiful healing with this card and like with this coming out like an understanding that you know you just wanted love your inner child just wanted love we all we, we literally all just want love, uh, you know, and and the fact that you're able to give that to yourself and the fact that you're able to understand certain things about yourself that most people refuse to even look at, I think is so healing for you. It's so beautiful. And I think this is like, like I said, this is a pile. This is definitely the pile of the people that aren't going to be um keeping a lot of generational trauma within their family whether you want to have kids or not it, it whatever the cycle seem i feel is, is stopping with you and i think that's freaking amazing and i think that that takes a really powerful and bold type of person so i think you should commend yourself and celebrate yourself with the four of wands as well too always celebrate yourself no matter where you're at you know okay so let's get something uh last question of what is my pile two meant to be learning here, spirit? What are they meant to be learning? Ooh, the chariot. And the two of wands. Oh my gosh, this goes so perfect. And these cards go perfect together. You're meant to be learning what it is that you want. You're meant to be learning and, and how you're going to get it. Like this is, I think uh, for a lot of you, oh, look at the bottom of the deck of the King of Wands, taking back control of your life, not letting other people control you or your circumstances control you. This is about you really learning, I think. And I, unfortunately, I think uh, most of us learn what, uh, what it is that we want or where we want to go by, um, being in situations that we don't want and being in situations that make us uncomfortable that make us you know not want to experience those things anymore and i think this is is very sitting sitting very fitting you could be sitting but very fitting for this pile you know what i'm saying and, and i think this is about you having the drive and the willpower to make things happen and to to want better and to do better that's why i was like because the two of wands is all about like planning and wanting better and seeing so much potential and things like that you know and i think this is that's why i was like this is so fitting for this energy of this pile like wanting more wanting better from what it is that you you've either been given and um and the, and trust me the universe definitely responds to that you know they the universe responds to our desires of like wanting better for ourselves especially when it's in our own uh for our own pleasures or our own needs and things like that you know um yes sitting in your power stepping back in your power and then look at the bottom of that we have the ten of pentacles building the future that you want i think this is awesome this is a very important chapter for you uh, this is something that you are going to be either planting the seeds, have already planted the seeds and of nourishing and growing something that is going to be stable in your life for generations with this ten of pentacles. This is all about generational thinking as well, too, and family and things like that. And But it's mainly about firm foundations that last a lifetime or even lifetimes due to maybe your creative desires as well with the king of wands but even if, even if it's not a creative desire as in like projects or a business or anything like that it's the it's the desire creed that was created within you learning what it is that you don't want and that's kind of the thing that i was 
talking about too. A lot of the times we have this desire that's created, this spark, this flame of uh, what we want or what we feel like would fulfill us when we're in a situation that is so unfulfilling and is the exact opposite of what we want. So that is again an example that there is so much potential and there is so much growth and learning regardless of your environment and regardless of your situation. And so this is something that you are definitely learning here as well. And I think that's amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some advice for you. What advice do we have for my pile two, please? Oh my gosh, we're the four of wands again. So we have the ace of cups, the star, and the four of wands. I fucking love this energy for you. I would just, I don't know why I feel so happy for you. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and talk about it though. So we have the ace of cups, which is I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Welcoming new things. Oh my gosh, look at this Andromeda, Andromeda energy. Say yes to change. Welcome in the new and out in with the new and out with the old is kind of, I could see that for this pile. And then we have I'm positive and inspired about the future. Your advice is basically what you're learning. <laughs> Your advice is like what you already know. And I think this is about you taking what you know, putting it into action now, putting, you know, pushing through, especially with the willpower here, uh, the chariot I meant, which represents, can represent willpower here, pushing through and, and going after. I love the, the imagery on this chariot too, because this is like that significant spark, that desire this represents like your aim, like where you want to be headed, that future mindset. And then this person here is focused and they're going, they're going for it. And I love that. And I think this is so fitting. And all of this is very much making sense. Okay. And then I want to read the four of wands. We have the universe brings me all I need to feel blissful. <sighs> Yeah, allowing these things to unfold, allowing the universe to bring things in. Um, for some of you, you know, change can be scary. Oh, we also have 41, which is five too. So five, five, five could be significant. It's also very significant to changes. Um, bottom of the deck, I see the truth in this ending with the 10 of swords. Yeah, letting things die, letting things end and, um, and having the courage because it does take courage to see what else is out there, to welcome in new things. Um, new is, is always uncomfortable, but sometimes staying in what we know is even more uncomfortable. And I think this is maybe the, the universe bringing you all that you need may be bringing you a shift here uh, and of you having to move to get going to build you a future. It may seem like it's uh, for the worse or maybe it's not for anything positive when you know when it's happening but that's definitely not the case this is all for your growth and your development and this is all for your future because if you don't like where you're at now I feel like the universe is making you move into a place where you're going to be comfortable and you're going to like where you're going and where you're at and um you definitely got the courage to do it. I can see that. You definitely have what it takes and the strength. And I think all you needed, I think maybe all you needed was a little push or maybe you needed some some people to test you or maybe you needed some people to, to walk out of your life or whatever the case is. It's different for everybody, but this it's all just fuel to your fire pile too. And I love that for you. I think you're a badass. Okay. But I am going to leave this reading here on that note. Thank you so much. If you stay till the end, um, don't forget to like the video. That helps me out so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you again. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this divine door, then these are your messages. So I'm just going to briefly explain or go over what it is we're going to be doing real fast and what it is these cards kind of represent. And then we're going to get straight into this reading about what next chapter you are stepping into. All right, so let's start over here. So this card is going to represent um, where you're currently are right now. This card is going to represent um, where you're headed. And then this card is going to represent how you're going to get there. Okay, and then we have these animal spirit cards, which this one represents the energy that you're coming into this new chapter with. And then this one represents the energy that you're going to be leaving this chapter with. So, oh, oh and then also we are going to be uh, using the tarot to 
answer specific questions like what are you going to be leaving behind or letting go of in order to go into this next chapter what blessings will you be receiving in this chapter and what are you meant to be learning as well as some advice so we're gonna have a lot to cover here so i'm gonna go ahead and get started <laughs> so for the first card about where you are currently at we have the sun card number 18 with source Okay, and then we have where you're headed. We have the Seas of Mintanka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. And then for the how you are going to be getting their card, we have the Divine Director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided and happiness is your purpose. Wow. I'm already getting like goosebumps here. This is crazy. Okay, and let's go ahead and take a look at your uh, energy card. So the energy that you're coming into this is the otter. This is like my favorite card. Okay. I love that for you. And then so the energy you're going to be leaving this next chapter with or like gaining, I guess, from this next chapter, we have the snake. <sighs> what is that okay let me grab something here I gotta I just I have to say before we even get into anything that you are so precious and that I don't know but pile three you deserve to be protected at all costs like I just love this energy I feel like you are just the sweetest person but yet you are so like the otter is someone that is playful that is fun and let's just be real otters are so cute they look like little water puppies they're freaking adorable and then we have the sun here like you realize that you're a part of something so much bigger with source like you're so connected to source and and i feel like even if you may not be there right now you're definitely headed into a very positive positive place in your life where i think you're just okay with where you're at what you're doing as long as and i feel like you're just you're able to make the best of any situation because of you and that's why I just feel like you're so precious and you're a gift to this world and you deserve to be protected at all costs I will do anything to protect this energy <laughs> I'm sorry but it's so refreshing and it's so beautiful I just I'm obsessed now let's let's feed off that point for a second that you are satisfied with any like where you're at right now it's going I don't know how it's going exactly for you but let's just say like you make the best out of any situation possible this next chapter here is is spirit saying you have no idea what is actually possible I think for some of you like in your mind it's like you know that you're a limitless being and you know that you are, um can do whatever it is that you want and stuff but I don't think for a lot of you you've actually been able to experience that yet and I can definitely see spirit pushing you to the point where you you need to get what you deserve like spirits like I'm I'm glad you're at a place now to where you're able to just be and you're and you're you know uh, very connected to your divinity and you're able to like you know bring in this light wherever it's needed wherever you are you bring in this beautiful light with the sun here but spirits like that's not all like you have so much more to realize you have so much more that needs to be given to you both of these cards literally both of them talk about untapped potential and seeing your true potential and knowing that you're able to create the life that you that you deserve the feel that i feel like with the divine director because this is like the energy of divine intervention spirit stepping in and kind of taking over this is could be your higher self guiding you to take over and and guide you to where you deserve to be but i think this is really spirit stepping in as well and saying like look like this isn't as good as it gets it gets better and I think you're going to be pushed in a direction of uh that may for some of you be challenging of course but you're going to be pushed in a direction to where you're not settling anymore for anything less than what it is that you deserve and you're going to be seeing your true potential and you're going to be seeing what it is that you can you can do and what life that you can have this is a very I'm like shaking right now and I, I I'm didn't even I mean I haven't done pile four yet but the other piles let me tell you there's nothing wrong with the other piles but it was 
was more of a calm energy like this. Maybe something that maybe gets you out of your comfort zone a bit. Um, and this is something that... <laughs> Spirit said, I didn't come here to fuck around, okay? <laughs> and neither did you. And I think this is so beautiful because I think, I mean, I I may be reaching, but this sun and otter energy, it may have taken you a while to get to this point. And now that you're in this point of appreciation and you're in this point of being able to just accept things and let them flow, now's the time or in this chapter or towards the end of this chapter where you're really going to be seeing how good it can get because now you're in a, a space of receptiveness to where you can actually really appreciate it because of this mindset that you've cultivated for yourself, this positive mindset and this, this otter energy to where, you know, you're, like I said before, kind of just going with the flow and, and live in life, whatever the case is like, <laughs> you know, because of that, now it's time for you to live your best life. Now it's time for you to live the life that, um, you truly deserve because now you're going to appreciate it rather than if you were in a mindset of like oh well you know it I don't want to be here or like which we all get in that mindset don't get me wrong but what I'm saying is it's like if you were in a more negative mindset or maybe like you would be not receptive to something so beautiful that like that spirit wants to give you or that your future wants you to have you know and you would receive it in a kind of down, like negative mindset, you wouldn't be able to enjoy it the way that you do now. And it now, oh, I just heard now is your time to shine. So this is, and we have the sun. That is so beautiful for you. Um, but yeah, it's time for you to realize like what you're made of. Push yourself like to your limits, whether that's just enjoying life or that's you actually pursuing things. I'm sure it's different for everyone else, but now's the time. I feel like it's a very much empress energy here that I'm getting. It's a time for you being open to receiving. And I think that uh, I, I love this divine intervention is occurring know that you are being guided and happiness is your purpose because i think that you know happiness is your purpose and i think that you know that you can have happiness anywhere and and i think that um with that mindset being very beautiful you're also limiting yourself because you're you're like okay i'm fine here i'm happy here i'm good here but you have so much more that i think you're even going to be more appreciative for and I think this is like, it's honestly, it's like making, making me tear up a little bit, but like tears of joy. And, and I, this could be because of the things that you're going to experience, but I, this, but I'm really feeling in my heart, this is because you deserve this because you're such a beautiful soul. I could tell that from the oracles that came out. That's why I was like, what the heck? Like pile three, like, I love you so much. And I just... And I'm not even normally like, I, and I do feel, I feel a much more positive vibe already uh, just being tapped into this energy of this pile. So what that means to me is that you affect not only, you know, yourself, but you affect so many people around you. And I think that it would be almost uh, a, a disservice to humanity for you to hide away and not be seen or to not be heard, or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? And and whether that's even just being an example of like, this is how this is how life can be. You know, regardless, you have a lot, I feel still to learn about yourself. But with that, you have a lot to teach other people too. And this doesn't mean that you have to be a teacher or you have to to be, you know, even in any kind of like, like you don't have to stand at a podium and, and tell people. I mean, if, if that's what you want to do, you can. But it, it, being a teacher in in life is like also just living your life and 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 showing people that you can have things and then them just observing you and observing what you what you've been through and what it is that you're doing and and that's kind of creating some sort of blue blue I'm sorry I can't talk now blueprint for what they want and what they can like that's a teacher too you know what I'm saying and I think that with this as well it's a time for you to really go deeper into this to see to see what you're truly made of like it, it, whatever you've cultivated now it's like you're not done you have so much more and this could just be like cultivating the physical 3d realm this could be cultivating like 
a mindset which I feel like you have been and I and this is just whatever it is you know you're not done like you have so much more to to see and that's it like it's honestly a general theme here that is within like almost all of these cards so uh with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at some questions we're going to answer with some tarot so okay so spirit pile three what is pile three going to be leaving behind or having to let go in order to fully shift into this new chapter what is this okay so we have the eight of swords at the bottom and there's like a few cards this is kind of a lot so let's just take a look so we have these are the same cards that came out for pile two and that's interesting because i think i think i said because i wanted to keep saying pile three that i was like if you felt drawn to pile three um this may be your pile but now that i'm here let me just say they are connected but pile three is what comes after that pile two chapter so if you were in pile two you're kind of going through that chapter and then this is after that like this is is like a continuation on so like the next chapter and i feel like maybe some people were even brought in here from pile two to see that how good it's going to get to see that these changes are going to be made in your attitude in the communication and, and how you uh and how you are perceiving people and whatever they whatever it is this is kind of this is a more advanced energy than pile two this is kind of like what pile two was needing to learn and to see that they're not only uh that they're breaking out of their community and and a certain mindsets and things so that is so interesting and yet so cool i love love that um so yeah, this is just pile two's future. And if you're at pile three, you're already here and you were. So if you weren't drawn to pile two in any way, or like, or if you just felt more called to here, just you're fine. Like, I feel like you're already here. You know what I'm saying? But that was just something very interesting as well. Okay. Um, so now that we have like, what you'll be leaving behind this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can I just say too? This was what pile this was the last question of the tarot for pile two so this so now this is an advancement because this is like what they're going to be leaving behind even though but you've already been through it if you've already been through it i'm probably just making it more confusing now but that's crazy so like it's like we're starting here we're starting where pile two ended okay sorry that's the last i'll talk about pile two <sighs> let's go into this now what are you going to be leaving behind all right we have the chariot we have the four of wands and we have the page of swords I, the first thing that came out with the chariot is, is honestly for you though, is resistance, resistance in moving forward. You know, this is what you're, this is what you're going to be leaving behind. Um, if there's, I feel like that you are going to be a pilot. It's going to be more go with the flow. And I think with this eight of swords coming at the bottom of the deck for you, it's, you're going to be, that's a part of the resistance. It's like not knowing, or like maybe thinking that this is, can't happen or this isn't because like, I'm feeling big, big energy, big things for this pile. Um, it's all about full potential, like literally untapping full potential. So you're going to be pushing through any, any sort of limiting belief, especially with that page of swords there as well too. anything that maybe you have learned or picked up along the way. This, it, it's not that you're immediately going to just be unlearning that because I feel like that's something that this pilot is good at. And that's something that this pile has been doing. So that's something that is going to come naturally, but I feel like you're going to be pushing through that regardless. Like if you feel like you're not ready for certain things, if you feel like you're being pushed into things and you still don't have that you're it, there's a willpower here that's going to be pushing you and that is very fitting actually for the divine intervention here like the spirit's like we've had enough of you settling now now it's time to get what you deserve and sometimes for some people that's how you know that you have good intentions because when people say that like oh it's time to get what you deserve like most people mean that like they would be like scared you know what i'm saying They'd be like oh my gosh get what i deserve but like with you and this energy and like the cards and everything that's kind of come out to play it's like if someone were to say that to you you'd be like promise promise i'm gonna get what i deserve <laughs> that's so funny all right so now let's go to the next question what blessings will you be receiving oh we couldn't wait for that one huh we have strength and the ten of swords interesting interesting for the blessings here we have strength in the ten of swords bottom of the deck we have the knight of swords 
One blessing that you're going to be receiving here is you're going to, again, with your true potential, like the fact of seeing your true potential, you're going to see your true true strength and what it is that you can actually do and what it is that you can overcome and that you can endure especially with the ten of swords here too it's like the, there's things here and i think this is something that you've already experienced in your life but there's things here that you may feel you know we're we're here like challenges or whatever the case or or people or, or whatever that we're here to like break you and i think that the fact that you're able to overcome anything and the fact that it, what what people say about you what people tell you or what people think about you or anything you just it it adds fuel to your fire and it just makes you stronger like when people have tried to like disrespect you or when people try to betray you it literally has i'm not saying it didn't have any effect on you like in a negative way but it's crazy how much stronger you become like you are definitely someone that rises and rises and rises again i'm surprised you didn't even get the phoenix here but the phoenix is all about rebirth and things like that i feel like you've gone through a lot of rebirth energy already and i think this is time for you to I just keep hearing and getting that energy of like to see what you're made of, like to see what you can really do. And so with that probably does come challenges and it will be triggering or you will have to push yourself. And, and I feel like spirit is definitely going to be pushing you as well, too. But it's all for your greater good. And it's not like you're going to not be like still in this mindset. It's not like you're going to be like unhappy or anything like that. It's it's just it's not that any of this is going to be bad i feel like for some of you it's just going to be different and sometimes we, our brains and our minds tell us that that different is bad it's not that there's anything good or bad there's just one way and then there's the other way and there's a way that we like and there's a way that we don't like and there's a way that we're used to and there's a way that's different and so this is going to be something different for you oh we have the star as well too very healing uh let's go ahead and read a little bit more though about these blessings can you clarify this ten of swords for me about the blessings oh i just heard a message as well too blessings in disguise maybe you're going to be seeing a lot of different things as well too like things that you didn't understand or things that were things that have ended or things that maybe you felt like were taken from you or whatever the case is with this ten of swords you're going to be seeing that this was actually a blessing all along Ow, and I'm feeling, okay, dang, I got it. I keep feeling this really sharp pain in my, in my sacral chakra, like almost in my ovary. And I was kind of ignoring it because I was so into these messages. And then see, now that I talk about it, it stops because spirit, spirit's like, I swear it was getting worse. Oh my God. So I'm like, okay, I hear you. Um, you create a freedom freedom to flow creatively to express yourself how you want to is something that I think is definitely related to this and that makes sense that I'm talking about this and then it got really the pain got really loud um because this is something that you're going to be overcoming or you're going to be able to do and I love that for you especially with this energy right here I love that for you and seeing your potential so and this is it, it create a freedom it, it's not only only limited to just maybe like one aspect of life you're creating it's it's literally creating creating a whole different life like you are the creator in your life and you have the freedom to choose what it is that you want in your life what how how you're going to be what you're going to live what you're going to do all of this stuff freedom you know just that and I think this is very fitting as well too so it's and it kind of makes sense on what you're going to be pushed through and we have the queen of swords so we have Yeah, this is very much again that blessing and the blessings of like things that you were hard for you, maybe cutting people out of your life, moving forward, maybe trying or having to kind of cut off your emotional desires for certain things that weren't good for you. You're going to see that those that this is a blessing, those hard choices that you had to make or that you maybe even for some of you are going to have to make. You're going to see that this is is it was such a blessing in disguise by what it is. Oh, OK. And I just got the message as well from spirit, too, that by letting go of what's not for you, you you're allowing what is for you to come in, which is 
that energy of you're going to see how much better it is. Whether this was a romantic relationship, a job, anything of that sort of nature, this is definitely the message though. This is very fitting to that message of like, you know, you kind of have to let go of what's not for you in order to receive what is. And I think this is like a, a an instance too of like, maybe, you know, in the future, you're going to be like, wow, I can't even believe I settled for that. Or wow, I can't even believe I wanted that. Because I could have had this or there was this waiting for me. And you know what I'm saying? And, and I think this is very beautiful. So for you to make those tough decisions that you with this Queen of Swords, you know, and um, cutting certain things out of your life moving forward regardless of like you know how how you felt or about someone or something or anything like that overcoming basically i guess i could just sum it up overcoming these things are definitely um a playing a huge 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 part in your blessing so for some of you if you're in this energy right now then you know this just means that you're on your way to your blessings Oop, and then we have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck too again this was like what i was getting with that queen of swords yeah having to stand your ground uh in these changes that you're making for yourself not reverting back to old people in old ways because they left your life for a reason things ended for a reason you're being guided for for a divine reason and and just to remember that as well and thank you for letting that like that was, beer that stab in my sacral and through it that was so funny just kidding spirit i love you okay um what's the next question focus okay so what are you going to be learning or what are you meant to be learning through this new chapter spirit so what is pile three meant to be learning through this new chapter please we have the four of cups let's get a clarifier for this The Queen of Wands. Ooh, the bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Two queens, love that for you. So what you're meant to be learning is, regardless of you being overlooked or maybe not seen, and this is actually yourself overlooking and not seeing how fantastic you are. Uh, maybe that's due to lack of confidence or whatever, because the Queen of Wands is always about confidence and everything. You know, you're going to be learning that you had that power within you all along. You've had this Queen of Wands energy in, in you all along. And the Queen of Pentacles as well, too. Like this very uh, abundant, nurturing um, energy. And I think that it's when it comes out, you may even be like, who is this person? But not in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's like, yeah, you may have overlooked your true potential. And that, oh my gosh, that's so fitting for the freaking cars. You may have overlooked your true potential all along. And that could have been in, in regards to other people overlooking your true potential as well, too. Sometimes we uh, absorb other people's ideas of us and thoughts of us. And, and this is a, a release of something that you need to release as well, too. Like not... No one else's opinion matters here. And it's very, very prominent that they can't, that people can't even put you in a box, Pile 3. This is the thing, is that you're not somebody that people probably could just understand unless they went through everything that you've been through or they've done everything that you've done. You know what I'm saying? And so anyone else's opinion of you is so irrelevant. And... I just love that. I feel like you're going to be getting like some sort of glow up here too. And you're going to be getting like some sort of like inner fire, like relit within you. And you're going to be seen like, because the queen of wands is someone who's attractive, not even just physical, but like energetically attractive, radiant, very much this sun energy. We have Leo energy here as well too. And I did hear, um, it's your time to shine. Like, yeah, this is, this is good for you. <laughs> this is good. This is good. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I almost dropped this. Okay. Now, since I have this in my hand, I want to pull some just quick advice for you. We have the Six of Cups coming in reverse. Get releasing the past. Again, uh, Six of Cups seems to be coming, I think, for almost every pile now. And, and as advice, yours is the one that came in reverse this is about letting past go i think this is a theme for the for the collective as well too like past narratives of yourself 
especially for you to move into this new energy in this new chapter they gotta go like you're not defined by your past you're not defined by your past choices um you're able to make different decisions and be whoever you want to be and it's not for anyone else to decide who you are it's for you to decide who you are and it's not for your past to decide who you who you are like you could wake up tomorrow and decide to be a completely different person with a completely different life and a completely different career whatever the case is you know but it's your decision and if and if say you do wake up tomorrow and you decide to be different you know, you may have the same people around you, or you may have the same, the same thought process of saying like, well, you don't do that. Well, that's not what we've done before. Okay, but you want to be that's the whole point. If you want to be different. That's what you got to do is you can't be doing what you did before if you want to be different. <sighs> okay, sorry, that was me talking to the ego. God, you can hear the frustration because that's when that's like wow I talk to myself too I'm like yeah I know that I know that ego but we have to I have to do this and I'm not listening to you today <laughs> okay any more advice here for my pile of three look at we have the four of wands again the universe brings me all I need to feel blissful at the bottom and then we have the king of swords which is perfect I trust we're the king and the queen of swords here I trust my ability to make strategic decisions. Yeah, you're more than capable of making the correct decisions for you in your life. And don't forget that you're always divinely guided, especially with this source energy and this divine intervention energy um, that we have here. You're divinely guided. So you don't need to question too much about where it is you're going or, or if this is meant for you. If you're guided towards it, it's meant for you. And I think that's uh, something to remember as well. So um yeah i hope this helped pile three i love you don't forget to like that helps me out so much it just shows that you enjoyed the video and also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys at the next pick a card bye hi pile four welcome to your reading if you chose this entrance then this is your message. So I'm just going to briefly kind of explain what we have going on here, what they represent, and then what we're going to be getting into about this next chapter that you are stepping into. So each card represents something different. Um, this card represents where you are currently right now. This card represents where you're headed. And this card represents how you're going to get there. Okay, and then we have these uh, two animal cards. This one represents your current energy stepping into this new um, chapter. And then this one kind of represents your energy when you're going to be exiting this chapter. So kind of like when you gained what you've gained from it. Then we're going to be using the tarot deck as well to um, ask certain questions like what will you be leaving behind in order to step into this next chapter? What blessings you will be receiving as well as what you are meant to be learning? And then we are going to just be pulling some advice here. So now that we got all that uh, out there on the table, let's go ahead and see what we got for you, pile four. So the card we have here representing... Um, where you're currently at right now is the second house with resources. Okay, and then the card that we have representing where you are headed, we have the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Interesting. Okay, and then the card that we have for how you're going to get there, we have Paul the Venetian. I think I said that right. Um, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. I love that. All right. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at the card. So the current energy that you're in right now is the crocodile. And then the energy that you are going to be leaving this with is the turtle. Interesting. Very interesting. I feel like you're going to be getting something completely new here for some of you. Or at least that's the energy maybe I'm feeling for a new chapter, like a new beginning. Um, or some of you may be like wanting to start over in something. I do feel like with the resources here though, this could have been you uh, trying to build some sort of new resources or, or trying to gain some new income 
for you as well as um the second house does also represent things of like our self-esteem and things like that and I think this is something that you've been um working on because I do feel with the crocodile here pile four that there has been a, a period of you or for you where you kind of have been um Looking within, I feel like you. it's almost as if a period of rest here for you, but it's not a rest and to where you're just doing nothing. I do feel like you have been learning a lot and I feel like you have been almost like studying something or maybe just uh, studying ways of like how you want to achieve certain things or what you want out of life. It's like it's it's been a period for I think for you for of a lot of realizations, if I can be quite honest. So it's like maybe you've realized that you uh, desire desire more out of life maybe you realize that you um aren't satisfied at your current position and you want something different but you want to go with something completely different because I do feel like for some of you there may be some sort of like risk here taking as well and I feel like that because like where you're going we have the courageous peony so this is all about again like you having the courage to show up for yourself and also having the courage to show yourself and like it says let yourself be seen so this could be um a new you kind of emerging here uh, that's exactly what i'm feeling that this is it's almost as if like a new version of you has completely emerged and the old you maybe it isn't resonating so much anymore and i think this is maybe that energy of like that rebirth or like new beginning here as well and i think there's there's something here because we have share your gifts with grace, waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. There is a very inspirational action that I feel like maybe you've been wanting to take or or, or needing to take in some aspect of your life, whether that is just the, to take these for these changes um, to do better, or this is something specific here, like uh, something specifically that you want to do that is uh, maybe more on the ends of like a cr creative aspect. And I do feel like this is something that you're definitely guided to do, whether that's just the changes or not, you're definitely really guided to to pursue these things. And with the turtle, the fact that this is going to be the energy that you're stepping out of, you're going to have so much wisdom and a lot of things and a lot of knowledge under your belt, or I guess under your shell, I should say. Um, the turtle is, the, I guess, what they would call the storyteller through experiences. The, the turtle energy is, is, is a very beautiful energy that has a lot of wisdom to offer and a lot of things to offer their community and the people around them or just anyone that's listening. So maybe this is a creative thing where you actually share your stories or you share what it is you've been through, whatever the case is, um, that I feel like it is something possible for you to make sort of money or have some sort of resources as well. And I do think that this is this has been you pulling on your inner resources. Um, especially with this crocodile here and it's almost as if like you've been waiting for some sort of opportunity to emerge and and I and I think this is this the chapter where you're going to actually be emerging here pile four and I think this is going to be very beautiful because I love that we have experiencing grace here experiencing grace is is grace is has a lot of different meanings especially in the spiritual community or the religious community but um, what I'm getting for this reading in particular is allowing yourself to experience things and allowing things to allowing them to unfold and giving yourself that grace to um to just experience these so beautifully and giving yourself that understanding and that kindness as well it, and and I think with that is going to create you're in the you're in the midst of creating something very beautiful for yourself and I think that's awesome here um yeah, if this has been like a project or if this is something, I, I'm being drawn here to all the flower flower energy here too. So maybe you have been planting certain seeds and getting certain resources together and getting certain things together in order to, to grow something beautiful. Or this is, could be indication of your bloom as well too. This is the time for you to bloom and to flourish as well because um, the, it could have been with this crocodile energy you were in some sort of like winter period which is on which is very vital for all of us don't get me wrong it's like a winter period is what we is what we need as well and now it's time for you to bloom again which if you are watching this actually when i am posting it this is very uh right on the seasons i think we are in spring right now um it feels like i live in california though it feels like summer already but yeah it's spring 
Um, but regardless, that could just be a, a synchronicity here. But yeah, like I do feel like you have a lot of beautiful things to share because the turtle spirit talks about sharing things as well too and having so many, and like I said before, having wisdom and, and experiences that, uh, you know, could be vital to other people learning it. And, and also, I feel like it's very entertaining. For some reason, I'm getting something like very, you could be a very entertaining person, or you could just be very good at, ex at explaining things. Or like when you tell a story, like you have people like at the edge of their seats, like listening or whatever, whatever it is, there's some talent I feel in there for you. And it, and I, Spirit really wants you to share your gifts and to open up with the, with the people around you. This is very important for you and I think you're going to be receiving whether that is resources or just receiving love whatever it is uh back for this um for this new chapter in your life so let's go ahead and I kind of want to just get straight into the tarot let's start asking some questions here about this new chapter okay spirit so what is pile four meant to be leaving behind in this new chapter I'm hearing the hermit as well, too. So if you happen in hermit mode, it's time to come out or you're going to be coming out. I guess. It, I, oh, my gosh. And I'm actually really drawn to this bear out of all the crystals here. I was like focused when I was looking and shuffling right now. I was focused on this bear. And that makes me think of uh, like a hibernation you know, and, and coming out well rested and well educated in what it is that you want and how you're going to get it in, in this next chapter. So it's not like, like I said before, some people view rest or some people would view like a hibernation in their life as like, as useless because they, you want to get what, what you get out of it, but it's actually very vital and it's very important and necessary for the next steps. And honestly, I'm big on rest regardless. I think rest for us is one of the most productive things you can do because you're not your true self and you're not good when you're running empty all the time or you're running around and you know you can't it sounds cliche but it's cliche because it's true you can't pour from an uh, an empty cup you know you need your own rest and and I think like I said before this pile had some certain realizations and certain things about themselves and what did they want it could have been a very healing time for you as well too okay so where was I what will they be leaving behind or letting go of in this next chapter we have the nine of cups interesting i'm gonna need a clarify for that clarify for that what why are they leaving this nine of cups behind what is this clarify this nine of cups for me for pile four please oopsies we have strength Okay, this makes sense now. Okay, because I was like, why would you be leaving the Nine of Cups behind? But it's leaving behind anything that is holding you back from this Nine of Cups energy. So from being fulfilled, what it is that you want, what it is that you've been studying and feeling like you want to pursue or the whether this is just the life that you want in general, emotional fulfillment in, in, in some sort of way. You know, it's having the strength to do it and, and realizing that you're able to do it with this queen of pentacles. Like you're able to cultivate whatever it is that you want in this physical, physical realm. So that makes sense. So anything that's stopping you from being fulfilled, it needs to you need to leave it behind now i know that's a lot easier said than done and that may be meticulous because there may be so many different things and so many different aspects but i feel like for most of you this should be resonating um towards something specific or if it's not resonating towards something specific it's it's a desire you've been cultivating for wanting more that it should be resonating even if you don't have a specific thing in mind it's it's more or less of like you've you've been where you've been and now you want more you want emotional fulfillment you want you know you've learned what you've learned and now it's time for you to uh leave behind anything that's stopping you which does take strength in order to do that okay so now let's see what blessings is my pile for going to be receiving what blessings are they going to be receiving in this next chapter please oh we have the two of cups so we have a connection coming to you when you're emotionally fulfilled interesting let's go ahead and clarify this as well too 
Why is this two of cups here? Oh, we have the devil. <laughs> okay, so you're no longer going to be restricted, I feel, or stuck on uh, certain people in your life. This could be any type of relationship at all, but with this two of cups and the devil, I feel like this is about you finding your own independence and your own self-sufficiency and not being reliant anymore on other people. So if you were reliant, maybe on a spouse, or if you were reliant on family or anything, uh, just as help or whatever the case is with this, or maybe you just felt like, you know, you couldn't be on your own or you couldn't get it on your own. You always needed help or whatever. This is definitely a blessing that's coming to you. And I feel like for some of you, this may be some sort of blessing in disguise because at first, and we do have strength here too, you know, it may feel a little bit challenging at first, but... And I feel like for some of you too, a blessing in the past was... um a very significant relationship that allowed you to really, really look in, in deep within yourself and allowed you to overcome a lot of, a lot of things about yourself and, and heal a lot of things. Like maybe this could have been a karmic relationship or a very triggering relationship, or I don't want to actually put a title on it. It's whatever the relationship is to you. Um, but you know, this is about because the devil here is literally someone that's looking straight into a mirror that's very fitting for like <laughs> it, it's a lot of self-realizations through this connection or maybe just the people around you too interesting interesting blessing for you this is probably the most interesting blessing out of all the piles but um yeah let's see another one Oh, look, we have the Knight of Cups as well, too. So for some of you, this could be another connection that is coming to you that does allow you to kind of heal these things or heal these like wounds with the devil here. Um, a, because the devil is all about feeling restricted to your circumstances. So for some of you, too, this could be a connection or someone that comes in that helps you break free from these restrictions. And then, like I said, for others of you, this is this is a chance for you to realize that you are self-sufficient and that you don't need anybody as well so i guess that would be kind of a take it as it resonates i think both those are beautiful blessings regardless and i was thinking that too because we have the nine of cups as well maybe this is you know uh, also for you being emotionally fulfilled on your own or wanting to be emotionally fulfilled on your own once you have that or once you have felt like that you know there will be connections that are coming to you because that's how it works. You know, once you give off a certain vibration, it, you know, the universe matches it and it doesn't match what you want. And it, a lot of times there's like, I feel there's a misconception of like, it matches our fear, which fears can manifest. Do not get me wrong. That's not, I'm not saying that's untrue, but it, it, it matches what you are. So it's like, how are you living? What are you doing? How are you being? What do you believe about yourself? This is this is the vibrations that it matches. So if you believe that you're good on your own, it's not that you're never going to have anyone. It's that the universe is going to bring you someone that enhances that. If that makes if this is making sense, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like you need a relationship to survive, the universe is going to bring you these relationships that probably just keep feeding off you, you know, or like this codependency, which the devil does represent that as well too. You know what I'm saying? So there, there's multiple messages here for this pile. And I think they're all, like I said, they're all very beautiful. And hey, what do I know? They could all resonate all together. You could have been through connections and you could that have really shown you that like, you know, who you truly are and, and been a blessing in disguise, as well as still being open to receiving a new connection that is worthy of you. You know, it, it just, I guess it just depends. But um, now I'm talking in circles. Okay, so what is the next question? So what is my pile four meant to be learning here during this chapter what is pile four meant to be learning we have the knight of pentacles i think you're learning that beautiful things take time yeah we have the page of wands okay bottom of the deck we have the ten of wands you're definitely learning that good things take time and that your efforts and your work is not going to go unnoticed. And I do think that this is an important lesson for some of you that also with the 10 of wands as well too, it's still very important to rest. And I think that's something that you've learned here as well too, because you do not want to reach a burnout. And also the Knight of Pentacles is about slow action, but still action. And then the Page of Wands is about inspiration. So this is again, a message about inspired action the person in the pay in, in the knight of pentacles 
is actually doing a Rubik's Cube, which means they are figuring out the next steps to take. And I do feel like you're realizing the importance of that as well, too, that it all will come together like this Rubik's Cube. You just have to keep moving, you know, moving it. Um, and I think that's very beautiful as well, too. Don't push yourself too hard because and I, I love that we have the five of swords underneath that as well, too. It's almost as if you know, sometimes we, we trick ourselves and our minds to think that we have to work, we have to break our backs for something or else we're not going to get what we want. And this is definitely not the case. I believe you that you're meant to have slow and steady progress here. That will eventually lead to something beautiful because mind you, even though slow and steady progress sometimes sounds annoying, of course, especially, I mean, I'm an Aries moon, okay? I am the embodiment of impatience. So I understand that fully if that's how you feel. But one thing that I have learned as well too through many things in my life is that slow and steady is is in turn better than um, instant gratification and fast because when it is slow and steady and you're building more and more and more, not only is it more um, fulfilling when you achieve those things, but it lasts a lot longer. If you're cultivating something that it takes time and effort, just know that it's going to last a very long time rather than, you know, something that's in and out. Like you get it fast, you lose it fast. You know, it's type of energy as well too. And I'm getting like this, this, the reference for some reason to like a viral like if you if you want to, to cultivate something on the internet I'm not saying that this has to resonate with that pile this pile but if you want to cultivate something on the internet you know they say that it's better to slowly build yourself rather than just having one huge like viral video because that in turn kind of makes it harder for you to build after because ev everything's kind of just on the, on that video if that makes sense or it's just I don't know how to explain it any more than that but like it's just better okay even though it doesn't seem like better <laughs> and I think something that you're learning too is that you are growing and you are developing even if it doesn't seem like it even if you were in this rest period as well and it really doesn't you can't tell I mean you could probably tell but like you know what I'm saying it's like it feels like you weren't moving or it feels like you weren't doing anything energetically you were doing so much more than you probably even realized so commend yourself and don't work too hard with the 10 of wands. Don't be, you don't need to be juggling all these things at once or worried about all of these things that you don't need to worry about. That's a, a perfect example and important message here of, of this 10 of wands, especially because the imagery is someone like juggling it. If you, if it's out of your control, if it's out of your hands, it should be out of your mind as well too. You don't need to burden yourself with anything else, but what it is that you want and what it is that uh, it works for you at this, at this current time. I think that's something that's important for this pile. Okay. So what advice do we have here for my pile four, please? What advice do we have for my pile four? Ooh, we have the Hierophant with I am ready to love and learn. Oh, this could definitely be like I'm for this connection to learn things about yourself. And then we have the Page of Swords. I take care of the details and I stay in control. And I think this, I take care of the details and stay in control. It can kind of go to like, if you can't, if you're not in control of something, like I, I think I just literally said that if it's out of your control, then you don't, you can in fact take care of what it is in your, in your control, what, what it is you're able to control. And that is almost always just yourself and your actions and how you respond. Um, you can't control how other people see you. You can't control what other people feel or what they do and things like that. And you can't even control your, some, a lot of the time your outer circumstances for the most part, that's kind of an illusion too. But what you can control is yourself. And I think, and, and how you feel about yourself and what you think about yourself, since it is the page of swords and how you communicate. And, um, and that I think that's beautiful advice as well too, because once we, once we kind of get rid of everything that we have been trying to take on we kind of relieve ourselves from a lot of burdens and then we have more time and energy to spend on what it is that we can fix and what it is that we can control and I think it's a focusing issue that it gets tweaked as well um 
yeah, the higher font, like higher, you know, learning, learning from experiences, higher learning, um, the higher font, a lot of the time to me represents, um, spiritual lessons too. And it also can represent, um, commitment and being committed to something that, uh, I think you're ready for. If you're ready for commitment in a relationship, you know, then that's good too. If you're ready to commit to yourself and commit to your future, I think this is all very fitting and telling to like that Knight of Pentacles, like moving slowly but surely. And for some of you, it may not even be that slow. Like who knows? But it's just um, a very practical type of energy here. And then look at the bottom. We have I am inspired to follow my passion. More inspired action. And then we have the Fool. I am guided and protected on my journey. The Fool is very fitting to this new beginning that I feel like you're having and taking some sort of leap here and just doing it whatever it is you want to do just do it <laughs> follow that um passion here you know a lot of us get confused when we think like what's my purpose what am I meant to be doing here I don't know but we forget that that it, our bodies and our and our soul is always telling us what we're meant to be doing here through inspiration, through our passions, through our heart's desires. That's exactly what we're meant to be doing. I think sometimes we make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. If you feel drawn to do something, this is probably your passion because like it says here, you're guided and protected on your journey. You're being guided to do it. And, and then, you know, it's all about us now just trusting in that guidance and trusting that we're going to be okay regardless <sighs> and not taking on too much and absorbing other people's things. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here for you, Pile 4. Thank you so much. If you stay till the end, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another one. Liking the video really does help uh, help out for me. It shows that you enjoyed it, and it also helps it branch out as well as um, subscribing so you never miss another one. I will see you beautiful souls later. Bye.